So training aids help us rip it on the driving range, help us get great feelings, and we end up walking off feeling a million dollars. But do they work out on the golf course? Today I'm gonna to test this gravity fit. I'm gonna play a whole hole, the second hole here at Mocha Mall. And well, how does it fare? Now, this is a training aid that I use every single day. I think it's really good for clients, and I use it out on the lesson scene. And no guys, I'm not paid to use this. I get sent lots of training aids, and this is ultimately just one of my favorites. It helps good rotation. So let's put it to the test out on the course. This could be interesting. I've never actually done this before, so I'm a little apprehensive about how this is gonna go. Oh, don't feel too bad, this. All right, one more practice swing for good luck. So I've just actually got this underneath my thumbs. Right, I'm gonna play a drive, I'm gonna play my second shot, maybe my third shot to the green. Let's see how I fare. Actually, before I do this, guys, what do you think about this? Do you think this is going to work? Do you think I'm going to play better golf because it's something that helps me play my better golf on the range? Please do comment that down below. And also with that, what is your favourite training aid? I don't think people use them that much anymore. Or maybe they do. But I, I really like things like this. I think this gives us great feels. Here we go. Oh, that was so necky. Go! Oh, it's okay, we're safe. Nearly missed it. It feels weird. On a range, I guess you hit one, maybe two, maybe three shots and you get a feel for it. Not out here. Right, let's go and find that. Okay, that turned out a little bit better than I thought. I actually thought I caught that bunker behind us there. But it's actually not too bad. So usually, I'll tell you, I usually hit driver Okay, in the middle of summer right now. Um, I hit driver 52 to here, so it'll be interesting to see what club I actually have to hit in. Didn't hit that drive great at all. Felt very, well, peculiar. 113. The lie is not great either. That's gonna have to force me to try and muscle a 52. Now this will be interesting. If I can muscle something out of this lie with this on, well, we'll see. Let's get ourselves hooked in. Imagine we actually played golf like this. And I uh, wonder if any of the training aids work well on the course. I'm trying this one, but there's plenty out there. Right. This feels like I have to muscle this one there. 111. It's about on the limit for my 50. Come on. Again, that wasn't great. A little bit squirty. I mean, it's... We're on the front edge of the green. I don't know, it just wasn't a, a great feeling. Felt very restricted, which is something that I don't get on the range with this. I feel it gives me a lot of freedom because it, ultimately, it, this just helps me turn, it helps me move better. I'm just not getting that same thing, I'm not getting that same feeling. Let's see if I can make a par. I'm gonna put with it on. What do you think I'm gonna do, guys? Let's have your opinion on it. What do you think of this training aid? Is it something that you've used before? <sighs> Disappointed. I thought I'd smash this up. All right, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I've used this for putting as well, actually, this training aid. This is probably one of the most versatile training aids you can get. Good for chipping, really good for long game, and good for putting as well. It's It's got so many uses. Again, it just keeps you really connected. So if you struggle with that, I can definitely recommend it. All right, all well, this feels peculiar on the course. Now there's an outcome again. See what, the weird thing is, it's not felt great at any point, but I've not really hit a terrible shot apart from the tee shot. That signed off with a four. I mean, it'd be interesting to try other training gates and see how they fare. But actually, that wasn't too bad. Let me know guys, did you enjoy actually me trying this training aid out on the golf course? If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button. It'd be great to actually know if you guys are enjoying this style of content. And if there's any training aids you want me to try out on the course, please do comment that down below. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I just wanna say one thing. You guys are being absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate all your support and thank you so much. If you're not currently joining the team by hitting that subscribe button, please do consider it right now. That's that big red one down below and don't forget to turn the bell on too.